perfect. So your body and all of that looks good. So you keep staring down at the wheelbarrow or something and then remember to stare at your truck. Anytime he gets crooked or he comes off the rail, you can pull on your right rein, the one next to the fence, but you push with the opposite leg. So whichever leg you push into, push him with, he should move away from. That's awesome with your eyes. You're good, Ruben. So then as you're getting closer to the truck, you'll look at Zorro and see if he's messing with my shed. <laughs> That's it. And then you keep looking at Zorro till you're about 20 feet from him, and then you'll look back at that truck well, again. Just to go a little slower, you just kind of... Oh, squeeze tight, wait till he responds, then release. So you'll make a tight fist, uh, so hold it longer. Yep, and then release, yep. And you don't have to release as much. So think of a tight fist, then a loose fist. So don't open your fingers all the way. And if they keep being fast, you might have to do that every couple steps to slow them down. The other thing I do is sometimes it's our energy. So I kind of slump and take deep breaths through your mouth and try to relax your legs, your butt, your shoulders. Oh, to do it. Okay. Yeah. So I always keep my fingers around the rein and then I tighten the fist and then loosen it. So you're doing it right. Just when you do it, hold it longer. Don't open your fingers so much when you loosen up. And so when I'm riding the horses, I always tell people it's like I'm holding two little chickens in my hand and I don't want them to fall out, but I don't want to squish them either. So that's how I hold the rein all the time. Then when they're bad, I squish the chickens. <laughs> then I release to see if they're still there. <laughs> so that just gives you an idea or a frog or whatever. So it's like you're holding a little critter there. Yep, you're doing good. So when you get down to Zorro, I won't be there, but those circles that we made yesterday, a small circle, see if you can get him to walk around a circle. So that way you pretend like you're on the trail, there's a tree and you're gonna walk around the tree. So go ahead and actually turn there and then look back towards Zorro and then you'll look back towards the red barn and then go back on the rail the same exact direction you were going. Perfect. Now just go straight. So this is just to make sure he's listening to you and he'll do what you want. As you go around the circle, if he speeds up, same thing. You squeeze, hold, and then release. If they're ever being bad, of course you can pull but you always try to be nice first, unless it's an emergency, then you just pull as hard as you have to, to stop them. Okay, now try another circle. So same size circle. Yep, just trace one with your eyes and then back towards the round pen. Yep, that's great. Now you'll go straight again. And then when you get over by your truck and trailer, try another circle. Good job, really good with your eyes. It makes a huge difference on where the horse knows he's supposed to go. Then go that way, yep, that's okay. You just overturned a little much, yep. So again, if he won't go over, you can always push with this leg, but anytime you push leg and you want them to go sideways, you gotta have to tighten your fist on the reins to block the forward motion. So if you're walking down the trail and a bike comes and you wanna push your horse over with the leg, you start to push with your leg, but you tighten the fist a little bit, and then you kind of guide the horse, like, I want to go sideways that direction. Oh, so, like. so you'd push your hands that way, and then push a little with this leg. Does that make sense? So say, Whoa. yeah, we're, when we go back out there, we'll make a circle and then we'll go back out. As you're going back out and I say, get closer to the fence, think of pulling your hands towards the fence, mm -hmm. push with the opposite leg. So whichever leg you push into, he should move away from. So if you want him to go to the right, you'll push with oh, the left. I'm trying to do something different. I That's okay, people get confused. Yeah. Right? So you think guide with your hands. It's almost like, you know, you neck yeah. rein that way and then push with your leg. Whoa. He's like, let's go home. Whoa. So now turn him back towards the round pen the other way because he wants to go this way so you make him go the other way yep 
and then so the only bad thing you did you pulled your hand down and you leaned that's why yeah so you you can turn him but pull it towards your hip and sit back yep so now try and go this way and then as you go this way let's push him towards the fence so think pull your hands to the fence push with this leg that's a leg yield see that second level dressage you just did <laughs> so on the other side when we get over there we'll cut the turn a little bit so we're not on the rail and then we'll try to push him over again but now anytime he comes off the rail that's what you do you pull your hands the direction you want the horse to go and then you use the leg on the opposite side so start turning here and tie kind of head towards my truck yep so we cut the corner a, good, a little bit now pull your hands towards the fence push with this leg but if he speeds up you tighten your fist that was perfect yep good so and anytime you make a turn and it's not going well think look up lean back and lift your hand because you tend to pull your hands down yep but that was good good so again anywhere you want try another circle but try to pull release pull release instead of pulling on the rein the whole time so now release just look where you want to go you, yep don't even steer unless he doesn't that's good so you, we don't know it sometimes we're doing too much so if you can look and they just go where you want to go you don't have to you know use your reins or your legs so try it somewhere else you know make another circle and just try to use barely any hand to steer him yep that's good with your eyes much better yep now it's a much smoother circle you're doing great right he could do dressage <laughs> we'll put him in one of those fancy tight outfits <laughs> the tight pants you'll love it Ruben <laughs> all right so now let's try a stop so keep your eyes up don't look at his head sit back and breathe there you go now we're going to try that turn on the forehand we did yesterday so his front feet stay still and we're going to push his butt around so we're going to turn towards the fence that's okay don't worry about it it's on the video so we're going to turn to the right so we're going to use just a little hand just enough that he turns his nose a little that way and then the rest is just going to be holding the reins looking and just pushing with your right leg so it'll be this leg so as you do it i'm going to help you it's just a tiny what is this called? turn on the forehand you don't have to remember the name though okay <laughs> but it's a safety thing and a horse tries to bolt rear kill you you spin them in this little circle we're just doing a, a half a circle but you just spin them until you got control and then jump off let them go loose whatever i always tell people you can get another horse but can't get another reuben <laughs> okay so you're gonna pull just a little bit so you see the tip of his nose then that's it now you're gonna push with this leg and look this way yep keep pushing with your leg if he doesn't go you'll kiss oh i got you no, less hand but look up where you want to go yep so it's, it's pretty much all leg yep but you are doing the direction if it's an emergency sometimes you got to crank their head around but if you do your rein too hard sometimes it makes horses trip fall down because they go like this so that's why you just use enough rein to turn their head then push them with the leg the weird thing is even if it's you know the horse is freaking out when you do that and they know how to do it they get distracted and they go oh i'm freaking out but yeah i'll spin around and then they spin around and you're like oh my god i got safety for a second yeah josie taught me that a long time ago. always go to the left yeah. i guess i favor my left yeah so you try and do both directions yeah. because sometimes you're on a trail and you can't turn the other way it's a drop off so you want to be able to do it with both trail. yeah <laughs> <laughs> you did that good no so now walk this way and the first thing you're going to do is just try to walk all the way around and just pick things to stare okay. at yeah so and if he won't go you look where you want to go don't stare at him yep because again the biggest mistake when they don't pay attention is us staring at them and not looking where we want to go yep so you'll look at my truck then your truck then the round pen and you always look so the horse knows where to go so look, trace the circle with your eyes yep so there the only thing you're doing you're pulling too much and you're leaning forward so go straight and then the next circle by Zorro, try not to lean at all because they're not like motorcycles. You stay in the middle and use less rain. So, you know, you'll pull just a little, but then use your eyes. So kind of look towards me now, pull a little. 
Yeah, then release, then look where, if Josie's over there, stare at Josie and then stare at Zorro. Better, much better. And then a little less rain, yep. Now go straight. And then you can leg yield him back over to the rail by pulling your hands to the fence and then the leg. And if he speeds up, you make a tight fist so he knows not to go faster. So now you'll circle in the corner by your truck and trailer. But that was better. Once you become a good rider, we use more leg and seat than our hands. The hands are just guiding, but we're tre really trying not to pull on their mouth if we don't have to. Yep, and then look towards the trailer, stay in the middle of your saddle. That's better, yep. And then you'll try another circle by the round pen. There you just pulled a little bit too much at the end. Also, with your weight, if you lean, the horse tries to move under it. So if you lean towards me, he's gonna cut in. If you lean out, they try to stay out. Much better with your hands, yep. Good job. Now you'll just go straight. So now just walk around and just kind of practice pushing them on the rail and then you can even push them off. You know, just practice coordinating that because it's confusing. So if you want them off the rail, you pull your hands towards me and you'd push with your left leg or the leg next to the fence. If you want them on, pull your hands towards the fence and push with your right leg or the leg I can see. Yeah, you're doing a great job. So if you get these colored reins, the most of the time you're riding, you're in the blue. If you're in the green, at least with the walking horses, the reins are usually too long. And in the red is more like emergency if you think the horse is gonna spook or have an issue. So it just helps you to figure out how short or long to have your reins. They're on Amazon. There he goes. Okay, so if we're riding down the trail and he does spook and he starts to turn left, you'll pull the right rein, the opposite rein. If we're going down the trail and he tries to turn right, we'll pull on the left rein. If we're going down the trail, he just jumps in place, we just hold our reins and then while we're standing there, we shorten up. And then we're ready if something else happens. With our body, if they're getting spooky, you want to lean back. Hardly anybody falls off leaning backwards. They always lean forward and that's how they fall off. The other thing you do too, say you're sitting there and we're letting them look at something. I always make sure my reins are short, my feet are in the stirrup enough. Because if you don't have your stirrup, then they spook and spin. Your foot comes out and it's much easier to fall off. Yep. So if they stay straight and spook, that's okay. We just keep our reins straight and we don't pull either way. Because if they were going to stay straight and you get scared and you yank one rein, then sometimes we spin them around by accident. Does that make sense? Again, if he's scared of something and we go by and they kind of cringe or go sideways, then we're going to walk 10 feet, 10 to 20 feet past the object, turn around and come back and pass it again. And we repeat that over and over until the horse isn't scared of the object anymore. Does that make sense? Yep. The other thing, now you know how to push them sideways. So the other thing horses sometimes do is they get scared and they sidestep to the right. So if he sidesteps to the right, if he's going that way, you want to block him. Like you'd be putting your hand there to block him. So you hold that rein against him, use that leg to block him. And then you make sure by accident, you're not pushing with this side. If he starts running sideways this way to the left, you'd press your left rein and your left leg against him to block him. So the horses, he knows how to go sideways. So he knows the cue. So again, if he starts running and you block him, he'll be like, oh, I can't go that way. When horses get really scared, they have four options that they can do. So if you know how to deal with those options, we're okay. One is they go forward, so we can pull back. They go sideways, we can block them this way. They can go the other way sideways, we block them this way. They can go backwards. If they go backwards, everybody goes, whoa, and they pull. We don't wanna do that. Because <laughs> if you pull, it makes them go more backwards. So if they're, run, if they're trying to run backwards, you push your hands forward. If they keep running backwards and you have room, you turn them and get them focused on something else. And then you just go any direction to get them going forward. And then you turn back the way you want to go. So if I just spooked him and he started running backwards, 
you'd push your hands forward and then you'd look first to make sure there's no drop off or anything and you're like well i can turn right let's turn to the right you run to the right and then you can turn them back to the left but it's kind of like your car if you drive drive in the snow where your car can spin it's hard knowing the first time the car starts spinning and people are like what do you do they always usually do the wrong thing <laughs> and you're like no you can drive into it and then turn your wheel out and hit the you know gas people want to slam on the brakes and then they just spin around so once you know what to do then it makes it easier so that reason by pushing him sideways making circles and playing around with them in the arena once you get out there it just becomes natural like your car does because i'm sure you don't even think about your car anymore okay. but in the beginning you're everybody's just like what because <laughs> it's so much info yeah. but the main thing is block him you know either side if he goes forward pull if he goes backwards push your hands forward yeah and you just keep repeating that in your head so the day it happens you're cool <laughs> now see his head come up is because Josie's back there. Oh. Yeah, I saw her, but he didn't see her moving and then the motion caught him. So he picked his head up and tilted his head just a little because he can see like 180 this direction. We can't, he can see behind you and we can't see behind us. So again, you can see forward better than your horse, but he can see his whole world around him better than you can. Hmm. So we're gonna walk okay. around the barn and he's following me now. So as you duck under this, look that direction and then just be ready to pull on your right rein if he doesn't go the correct direction. Good, okay. So the first thing, we're just gonna walk down the gravel and you're, we're gonna try and stay in the middle of the gravel. So the way we do that is that little thing of pushing him over. If he goes that way, we push with this leg if he goes that way, we push with this leg. And your hands go the direction you want to go. So if he was going that way, you'd pull your hands this way. <laughs> Whoops. And if he was cutting to the right, we'd pull our hands kind of left. Okay. So as we get up here, you just want to, because they always spook at this dark area, you just want your range short enough that you're in the blue, but it's more towards the red area. And then as we get up here, since we know they get spooky, you want to take a deep breath in and out so you relax and you stay farther away from the scary thing. So we kind of stay here. So if somebody jumps out, we have, you know, lots of room from them. If he's speeding up, you just tighten your fist and then release it when he slows down. Horses don't see dark to light and light to dark well. Their eyes don't adjust as quick as ours. So if something jumps out of a, like a shady spot, they can't see it as quick as we can usually. You doing okay? Yeah. Okay. So now it gets scary over here again. We're gonna stay right in the middle because sometimes people come out of the barn and sometimes they come out this way. And there's dogs, they might bark. So just sit back and keep your hands wide. So he's not afraid of dogs, but sometimes just the bark scares them. Now we're going to walk down this way. So as you're walking, if he got too fast, like I can help keep you back by just waving my stick. But you can also by thinking I'm going to stop for like a second or two and then I'll walk back off because you're trying to keep like one horse length apart. Because some horses, they have, a, they have a bubble, and if you get up on their tail, they kick the other horse. But you don't want to be like three horse lengths be behind, because then that sometimes make the horse antsy, thinking he's going to be left. So we're going to keep our hands wide. Now you can look over there. <laughs> See all those cages? And then there's goats in here too. So he's seen lots of goats. What happened, Shane? What the heck? All right. So now we're out here. There will be stuff on this side, stuff down the hill. They can see farther than we can see, and they can hear better than we can hear usually. But again, everything's just a little blurry. We're going to go right next to this red truck. So once we turn, we want to stay next to the truck as much as we can so we don't bump into this yellow thing. So once you turn, keep your right leg to block them from going that way 
And then if you get nervous, take a deep breath and breathe. Good job, yep. And then just shorten up just a little bit more so you're more by the red. Yeah, because you get relaxed and they're fine. But again, we want to stay kind of short until we're sure they're not going to spook at anything. You feel okay? Yeah. Okay. Do you feel okay enough to go first? Okay, so what I'm going to have you do is pass me and I'm going to go behind you. The horse always go, Are you sure you want to go first? And you're like, yes. <laughs> okay, so now I'll be behind you. We're just going to do the same exact thing. But once your horse goes in front, their ears go forward because they're protecting the front of the herd. And then the second horse's ears go back to protect the back of it. So now that you're in front, you just want to kind of have your energy be like confident, but he, you want to keep his head straight, but you can look around because you're looking for danger and trying to help him get through things. And then again, if you get nervous, you take a deep breath and relax. If you see something he might get scared of, <laughs> you shorten up. <laughs> yep. Good. And then after we make this loop, then we can ride up to the trailer and we'll get you off. <laughs> so you don't get too sore for the ride home. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hang on one sec. So stop them for a second. So we'll, just so I can catch up to you. Pull, yep. Keep pulling, take your legs off. Pull, pull harder. Yep, you're looking down. So this is, the reason he didn't stop is you're squeezing with your leg and you went yeah, like this, yeah. you lean forward and pull. So legs off, sit back and then pull. So the slow down part is you just squeeze Deep breath, squeeze, let squeeze, go. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. But hold till they actually slow down. So you, if they're speeding up, you don't want to go like this because that won't work. Okay. You want to squeeze, wait until they slow down. It's like holding the brake on your car. Then once it gets to 40, then you take your foot off. Yeah. But if they're taking off, say something, something scared them, then you think they're going to run off. Lean back, shove your feet out in front of you, pull as hard as you can. I'm saying we'll hold an yes. with my feet. That's right. But that's okay. Everybody does that in the beginning because they're trying to hold on because yeah. we want to stay in the saddle. Right. So we give them two confusing things and he goes, I guess I'm just supposed to go faster. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, yes. But it takes time. Quicker. But that's why it's helpful to practice, you know, close where, you know, nothing here is going to kill us. But once you get out on the trail, sometimes it will. Yeah, so Our you. Trails at home are pretty. That's good. Yeah, but you want to feel confident, you know. So as you guys go out, you tell her how confident you are, because you might think, "Oh, we're fine." But if you don't feel in control, and he's gonna know too. He will totally know. Yes. So it just takes time, but there's no rush. It could take ten years. He's got lots of life left in him. We we have fox trotters in their thirties that are still going strong. So you got plenty of time. There's no rush to get there. All right, so now go back this way, yeah. And you can practice somewhere else. Just pick a place to stop, and I'll stop behind you, okay. yeah. But yeah, it's hard. You have to think, when I want to stop, legs off, lean back, look up, and pull. Because if you look down, lean forward, and squeeze, it tells them the opposite. <laughs> it's hard, and you're tired, you know. Yeah. That's good. Now stop. Stop. Yep. Turn him towards the object. Pull harder towards the object. So it would have been better if you turned left. Because now you put the scary object behind his butt, which could make him run. So always turn towards it. So now, yep. Now come back towards me. Yep. So your reins are a little too long. Yeah, when it got. Yep. So pull. Yep. So get that left rein shorter, you're still, that's it. So once they spook at something, we don't want to let them go. Or if they shot forward, we stop and we go back. So now try to come towards me. Yep. Keep coming towards me. He's side passing, it's okay. Yep. Now turn this way. So he's trying to hide behind Zorro right now. That's what he's doing. <laughs> yep. Now relax. Yep. Because you're, as you pull on the reins, you won't realize you pull harder 
and so then he feels tension. So what we're trying to do is see him turn his head left, mm -hmm. let him do it. He's looking with his left eye at that dog, even though he's hiding behind Zorro. Yep. And you're doing good. You're pushing your hands forward. So we're just going to stay here until he figures it out. So he's still looking at the dog. People think they're looking really? right. Yep. Because he's got to focus it. Yep. Um, so now I'm going to back up a little bit. He might try to back up. Turn a little left this left. way. Yep. See if you can get in front of me. This is good practice. Now stop. Turn towards the dog to the left. Yep. Now breathe. Talk to him and just rub him on his neck, but don't let your reins go. So rub him like this with your rein. That's it. Now you're just gonna stand there. So what we're letting him see is it's a dog. So even though his head's turned that way, he is still looking at that dog. Cause again, his eyes are on the side of his head. But if he spooked and we just keep going, the next time we came around that dog barked again, he'd just spook again. So you want him to go, it's a dog, it's okay. Yep. good. So now what I wanna do, I'm gonna back up. I want you to walk towards me and we're gonna go past the dog. So you're gonna come towards me. Yep, look at me and keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Now turn towards the dog that way. Now we're gonna try walking by again. So you're gonna breathe, tell him he's okay. Yeah, good job, buddy. It's just a dog. See now how he's okay? Because he saw it was a dog, you helped him through it. So just that little thing built trust that, hey, Ruben's okay, he helped me. So that was good. I'm glad he spooked, because then that's usually how he does spook. Yeah. So now we'll just go straight again, or by the round pen, and we'll head towards that red truck. Yeah. But that's why you always keep trying to check in on your reins, because you never know when something goofy like that is going to happen. You know, and we walked by the first time, and of course the dog tricked us and didn't bark. I know. <laughs> but dogs like to do that. They're like, oh, I'll just spook that horse. <laughs> So I'm always ready because if you're on a loose rein, he could have like spun and gone off the other direction. You just never know. But if your reins are short, you can catch it much quicker. Do you have the thing on? What thing? The oh, the video? Yes, I think so. We'll find out when I tell it to STOP. <laughs> Cause I was just gonna let it run until the battery went out so we could get as much on it as you could. I, I don't know how I'm gonna, it's a good thing you're taking the red horse cause I wouldn't have anywhere to put this gray horse since they messed up my stalls. <laughs> yeah, so just make sure your reins are short. And then remember you steer him through this stuff. Because again, they get goofy and then they sometimes cut the turn and they bump right into something. So if he's looking around, you just straighten his head, then look where you want to go, and then try to keep your him right in between your legs so he doesn't go sideways. Yeah, good. Okay, so now we're just going to ride straight up to your trailer and then we'll get you off. Unless you want to do more, but I figured you're sore. <laughs> you did good. But see, I like when they speak because then people go, oh, that's it. And I go, yeah, that's it. And they're like, oh, I can do that. You know, but if you have one that spins, it's scary. And I don't know if Josie knows to do that, but now you can teach her. Yeah, she does that all the time. <laughs> she does. All right. Yeah. yeah. See, that's good. Those people learn a lot. There's other people who don't, never watch anything and they think they're fine and they just have one accident after the next. Yeah, so when you get up here, if you wanna take them to the side, just, you know, just remember those holes. Yeah. No, but we spooked. Yeah, there's a dog in a car and then it barked at him. So I think we got it. He did good.